Okay, I'm going to uh, quickly introduce you to my um, drill press that uses my Dremel tool. Uh, it's from Dremel and it works very nicely. This little piece on top of it here with the orange knob and the handle did not come with it. I got it off of uh, Amazon for I think $12. Um, but the, the, the stand and the Dremel tool came from um, one of the hardware stores. <clears throat> big box hardware stores. <clears throat> but it's nice because um, it's very flexible in that um, you can alright uh, it's very flexible in that um, you can raise this up and down by uh, turning this knob here and you can also swing it this way and you can get it right in the center of where you want it. So I'm going to try to center this, raise the uh, bottom of the drill bit so it just clears uh, the top of this um, uh, clamp. Uh, actually, I think it's called a machinist vise, but whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and then tighten this down. Okay, so that's good and tight. Um, doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Uh, that allows me to do a vertical drill like that, and that should work fine. The next thing is, um, rather than move this around, I have uh, small wooden blocks that allow me to um, position any size thing in here. And so here are my... Um, uh, nylon mounting blocks and so in order to get this exactly where I want it I use two wedges that uh, slide together like this and that allows you to have um, any amount of distance up to I think that's probably a quarter inch wedge and so I'm going to put this behind or between these two wooden blocks and, um, <clears throat> and if that's not good enough, which it's not, then I'm going to rotate this this way a little bit. And so there's there's lots of ways to to get this to be right where you want it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sort of put this in, and uh, I think I'll put it in from this direction. Um, and you won't be able to see the hole. Let me drill. Let me drill this one first. The reason is I want to measure the flatness. I mean the straightness of this part here against the straightness of this because those two things ought to be kind of parallel. Um, so I'm just going to um, roughly fit this. To get it close and I've got the hole more or less underneath but I know it's not perfectly right there but uh, we can adjust that in just a minute I'm just going to try to get this close enough to work all right so um, I'm going to zoom I'm going to change the camera and zoom in on this so you can see in detail what I'm doing okay a little bit more close up I'm going to put a little graphite from the pencil into the hole a little there so you can probably see the hole a little better. Okay, so there's the hole. Now, um, there's two ways to uh, get the camera steady without bumping it. There's two ways to fix this. I'm going to loosen this and slide the two um, wedges apart and then uh, clamp this back together continue to slide these wedges apart and I'm going to screw this back to where I think where the hole is then I'm going to slide the wedges apart after I can put in another wedge but I don't think I will Okay. 
and that's good. Okay, now I'm going to drop this down just a little bit. Okay, so that's pretty close. I don't know if you can, let me see if I can zoom in a little more. That probably gets blurry. There we go. That's pretty close, but not close enough for me. So what I'm going to do is slightly loosen this and turn this ever so small to right there. Okay. And tighten it back up. All right. So there we go. All right. Um, so I think I got it where I want it. I'm going to stop the camera to make sure and then uh, back the camera out so you can see how I drill it. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got it set the way I like and the way I tell is, is uh, I move the drill bit slightly in and as long as the uh, drill bit doesn't deflect, you know, front, back, left, right, it's right in the center of that little pilot hole that we drilled and that should hold it. So uh, now to drill it, I'm going to turn on the um, Dremel. Make sure one last check to make sure everything's tight, and it is. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the Dremel to its very lowest speed. Okay, that's off. Okay, I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to move this a little bit, turn the camera off, move it a little bit. When I turned it on, the, the, the Dremel moved a little, and uh, so I'm going to do a one little final adjustment here. Okay, the final adjustment I did was uh, um, just to undo the uh, big uh, handle back here and uh, moved it slightly in that direction to get it exactly centered. So it's good and centered now. And the other thing I, I did um, was I turned it on and as you know I put a pencil mark in there so I turned it on and did a little test of the drill like that and that pencil mark is right where it should be. Uh, in other words it's right in the center of the drill. So I'm going to turn the drill down to its lowest possible setting again. Okay. Here we go the drill. I'm going to turn the drill up just a little bit faster. I was up to about number, the the speed of the Dremel is 1 to 10, I think I was up on number 3, and so I'll remember that for the next ones, and as you can see, I'm all the way through it. Okay, so um, that's how you do it. Um, that's a lot of setup time that I'm not going to put on all uh, the film, so um, the other three holes will be identical. But what I'm going to do is drill all the pilot holes first and then come back with the hand drill for the remainder. Um, so that one's in good shape. And I'll do the other three off camera. Okay, uh, I'm back and while I was off camera I had a brilliant idea. Um, which is, while this thing is all good and mounted and uh, I don't want to break it down until I actually drill the final hole in it. So I'm going to go ahead and drill the final hole. Uh, so I'm going to 
turn this, lift it up, which we're going to have to do anyways, so then break down the setup of this. But this is all nice and well um, um, flat and all. Gives me a uh, good steady place to do it. I have a little wooden block here uh, that's square that I made, and I use it for this. Um, if I'm going to drill a hole, and I want some guidance as to whether this hit, this drill is vertical. Of course, I've got a pilot hole here, so that helps. But that uh, little wooden block helps me get started. And uh, hopefully you can see that. Yeah, I guess you can. And uh, so I'm going to just drill this out. And with a very slow drill. Okay, so um, get nice fine little um, pieces of nylon and uh, we got a nice um, drill there, hole, and our through hole, this is the bolt we'll be going, dropping into it, drops in there just nicely, not too uh, tight, not too loose, it's just right. Okay, so that's how we drill the holes.